You should be most welcome to Jimmy Racing Total Nerdy Channel and today I'm going to show you how to switch from integrated to dedicated GPU. So let's go into the settings and uh, I'm gonna show you the ropes. Alright, so go and right click the start menu and inside here you select settings or just search for settings. And inside of here you will click the display section. And into the display section you will scroll down until you see graphics. Click that. Inside graphics you can choose which apps will run at what graphics card. So if you want to make sure that Windows actually uses a specific graphics card for a specific program, you'll need to set it up. So by default it's set at uh, let Windows decide and sometimes Windows make the wrong selection. So you can add an app, desktop app or Microsoft Store app. If you have a desktop app, for example a Steam game, you can browse for the Steam game inside the Steam, Steam apps common and there you'll find your games and if you go into the game folder uh, then you'll actually find the exe file inside of there. So we'll just go into Garry's mod and here you see hl 2 exe is the one for Garry's mod and just add that and boom there we have the exe file and then you'll just click options and uh, change it from let windows decide to high performance to make sure it always runs at the high performance option. If nothing is set inside of this menu, it will default to NVIDIA control panel. So go down to your lower right corner and launch NVIDIA control panel or search for NVIDIA control panel. Inside of here, you'll see these 3D settings. You might expand this menu if you don't see it and you will select manage 3D settings. Inside of here, you will change the preferred graphics processor from auto select to high performance NVIDIA processor and then you'll click apply. This is a global setting that will apply to all programs if they are not set or overridden by the Windows setting. So to make sure, you will just set it up at both ends to use the NVIDIA graphic card and it will use it instead of the integrated. Very easy. If you don't have NVIDIA control panel or are missing some options, you'll need to watch my tutorial on how to get NVIDIA control panel back, link in description. Hope this tutorial helped you and if it did, please leave a like. This is your host, Jim and I'm signing out. Take tutorials every Tuesday, as you probably know, and of course a lot of gaming content and all that stuff, so you should really stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Jim and signing out.